Hello, Klaus here, and welcome back to yet a, another video here at the channel. So, as you know, this channel is all about film, learn, share. If you want a t-shirt like this, take a look down in the description. But really, in today's video, we are going to have a look at how to make a very boring so film interview shirt look pretty darn cool. How to make it pop and how to make it more pleasing to look at. So without further ado, let's jump right into this video. So filmmaking is all about using your imagination and your creativity to make great, awesome stories. Okay, here are the clips we are going to work with, and I'm going to show you a couple of ways you can do this effect or how to fix a bad interview shot like this one. So let's get started. So first off, we'll go into the color tab. We're going to do a new note, Control S, and we're going to use that note. And in that note, we're just going to take the uh, circle window, and we're going to place that somewhere around my body here, like so. Let's just position this some way that it will look fine. And the idea here is to cover up my body in some way. And we're going to push here to make another circle. And that circle we are going to center around my head. And again, the idea is the exact same here, just to make it fit. And in this case, we are going to track the head mask here because that is moving my body in not that much. So I think that will be fine not tracking that. And we're just going to adjust that a little bit. Like that. Okay, and then, then we can see what we're actually doing. If we hit the highlighter here, we can see how our masks are. So let's just uh, put on our power windows again. And I'm just going to make some small corrections just for now. Like that. Something like that. Let's have a look again. Okay. Okay, and then um, let's add in some kind of a window blind effect. And I'm just going to pick this square here, a linear square, and I'm just going to make this look like the window is out of frame and we have these window blinds, light leaks coming in. So I'm just going to make a bunch of those. First off, we're just going to make the first one and I'm going to feather that out pretty much uh, a lot. I'm going to add in another one and to save time, we can now copy paste the attributes from this by clicking right over here and then just going to copy window. And then we'll select the other window and uh, we're going to paste window. And then it will move in space, the same space. And I'm just going to move that down using the tilt. And that's how we're going to do with that effect. So we're just going to do a bunch of that. And I'm going to speed this up in post actually, because why not? So there we have them all. So first I'm going to click this button here. So this will affect the mask in the way I actually want it to be affected. And then I'm going to click this other icon. And that means that I'm just going to link all of them, my masks together so I can do the same correction to all of them at the same time. So with all that linked together, I am just going to go in here and I'm going to go into add a note and I'm going to do a outside node. And I'll get back to that in just a second, but now I've done that. So I'll go back to my second node and I'm just going to take off the qualifier. And here I can give myself uh, by using the gain a little bit of light in, and you will see that the, the light leaks effect or the blinds effects are actually there. And then I can actually control my lights so this will give some contrast to my image so the background will be more darkened 
And uh, now I can see I need to do some small corrections to my circular mask, because that's not totally nice. So I'm going in here and I'm just going to the power windows. And remember, if you push the middle of the power window, you're going to select that. And now I'm just going to use the soften edge a little bit. I'm going to soften out the things a bit, like so. Yeah, and I have something around the head uh, I don't like, so I'm going to do that as well. Again, pushing the middle of the mask will select it. So I'm just going to do some small corrections, taking it off. Well, that's a little bit better. Something like that. Okay, we're just going to I'm just going to move my lines here a little bit because I want it to look a little bit different. And um, that's just how it is when you're doing tutorials, you change your mind when meanwhile doing. So this is again a super easy effect to make because otherwise if we have nothing going on in the side of the frame, it is a bit boring. So now we have the illusion of a window out at the side. And if we go to our third node, we can actually warm this up a bit by going into the temperature here. And uh, you can see we can make this either warmer or colder. So we can now see the effect without the effect. And here it is with the effect. And, and here we have the clip itself. So filmmaking is all about using your imagination and your creativity to make great, awesome stories. So that was the first method to making your image look a little bit nicer. There's another thing, since this is a clip where I am talking about filmmaking and whatnot, let's jump into Fusion and uh, do another little trick. So let's go in here to our media pool and I have two posters here. Just going to drag one down. I'm going to put in a merge again. I'll use the shift button to connect it to the flow. And then I'm just going to make this my foreground. And as you see, this is a very small picture. So I am going into the merge and I'm going to scale this up quite a bit. I'll go into the merge or into the media and I'm going to find the DVE tool. And uh, now we're just going to mess around with the perspective just a little bit. And then we're just going to move our post a little bit around, not too much. We we'll have to find some, some place where it actually looks natural. Let's try here. This is the size we want. And then let's do something like that. And then we just go to the Y position and we're going the other way, not too much, just a little bit. And it should give the illusion that this is actually on the wall. And um, yeah, that looks okay. So now we're going to take a second poster. And this is actually the poster for two documentary films I did produce a couple of years ago about the German Hammond pop organist Klaus Wunderlich. And um, if you're interested in watching those, you can have a look at uh, Vimeo, link down in the description. So uh, again, here I am just going to take the DV tool again, and I'm just going to copy paste that actually. So the positions are exactly the same. And then now we just need to size up the poster here. And I'll do that in the merge node. I'm just going to make it bigger. And then we can just rearrange. That's probably too big. Oh, yes. So we're going to, again, size this down so it has around the same size as the other poster. Something like that, a little larger. Something like that. So let's say this is what we want. And then, then we're just going to go into the edit tab. And now we have this little thing. But in order to make this blend in a little bit better, there is a trick I love to use and I might as well just show it to you guys. 
So I'm going into the color tab and um, I want this to blend in a little bit better. So first off, I'm just going to do a mask where I do cover up what I just did, the, the posters actually. So first off, I am going to do a, another node control S and then I'm just going to draw a mask around, let's say around me here, something like so just so I'm not going to do anything to myself. And then I'll go into this radius here, and then I am going to make the posters out of focus, creating the illusion that the wall is actually farther away than it actually is. And that's kind of a nice way to hide stuff like that. And this is like the final resolve of that thing. So filmmaking is all about using your imagination and your creativity to make great, awesome stories. Anyway, I do hope you found this video useful. If you did, please hit that subscribe button, give the video a like, share it with your friends if you think it will help them out. And if you want to be notified every time there's a new video on this channel, please hit that bell icon down in the corner. Until next time, keep filming, keep learning and keep sharing.